All right. Now, speaking of trainers, let's shift our attention to the people that influenced the game here at Del Mar, starting with those trainers. Many, many barns point to the Del Mar meet, and this is especially true for horses trained by John Sadler, Peter Miller, Jerry Hollendorfer, Carla Gaines, and Bob Baffert. Now, with the exception of Baffert, all these trainers win very early in the meet, so bet their charges with confidence if they look good on paper. Doug O'Neill, this is going to be real interesting. He's coming into the Del Mar meet here loaded for bear this year. His barn is catching a bit of a break leading up to the meet, and his horses have to be jumping out of their hides. It'll be interesting to see how the strategy turns out for him in the end. Stake races run here are still dominated by Baffert, Sadler, and John Sheriffs. Ignore any of these guys at your own peril. Just don't try to beat them. Quality two-year-old racing here at Del Mar is huge, as it is at other big-name tracks this time of year. Baffert has always reigned as the two-year-old trainer king here, especially with second-time starters. But everyone knows this fact, so it's really tough to find value with Baffert two-year-olds. John Sadler and Wesley Ward, they too have been quite productive, but again, same story. Very difficult to find value. You one of the trainers that are really coming onto the scene with two-year-olds and where you're going to get your best bang for the buck? Number one, Jerry Hollendorfer. Really had a great last couple of meets. Peter Miller, same. Last two years really has come on big with the two-year-olds. Carla Gaines, Eric Kruljak, and Kathy Walsh are just a couple of others that are really going to produce some tremendous value for you at the betting windows for these two-year-olds. Now, turf sprints. I swear Howard Zucker owns the turf sprint course at Del Mar. He has so many wins there. He's just an automatic bet if he has a uh, charge going out in five furlongs on the turf. Mike Mitchell, Peter Miller, and Brian Corner, they can always be counted on hitting the board here with decent pricing and incredible consistency. Now, don't go be sharing this with everyone else here, but here's some other great insider long shot trainer angles that you need to know to cash big here at Del Mar. He's one of my favorites. Barry Abrams, long shot bar bombers, any place on the board. Last year, he had seven starters that paid 20 to 1 or higher, finishing first or third. That's just great, great consistency. Look for his bombers anytime you're coming into, especially turf and uh, your higher price claiming races. Here's one of my all time favorites, though. A.C. Avila teaming up with Omar Barrio and claiming races to finish second or third at Monster Odds. This is also almost an automatic play in your supers and tries. Absolutely deadly. Been a, a really a source of great payoffs for me over the years. Sal Gonzalez, for some reason, he seems to surprise everybody each year. But he too is very lethal in cheaper claiming races with his long price charges getting up for second or third. While Mike Harrington's overall win percentage isn't all that great, do not ignore his bomber two-year-olds. He's particularly uh, competent with those that have had a little bit of experience under their belt. Steve Knapp, another super effective, uh, super effective player's friend. His bottom level claimers can surprise at huge odds in the second and third place holes on a regular basis. Michael Penders, maiden claimer. Boy, I can't tell you how many times he's popped a 50 to one shot over the years. He's good for maybe one, maybe two of those every meet. Uh, he'll light up the board, always considered a threat at that mating claiming uh, sprinter level. Donald Warren really had an interesting meet last year. He had five winners last year that paid 11 to 1 or higher. His bombers did most of their damage in those cheap uh, claiming and mating claiming races. Finally, Martinez Silverio. Or is it Silverio Martinez? He's coming out strong as of late and, will be, and he has big bombers in the bottom tiers of maiden claimer and supers and tries. This should continue this year at Del Mar, so keep a close eye on uh, this uh, very productive trainer. Other trainer angles of note, Bobby Hess, on the route to sprint move and claiming races, consistent as the day is long. Jerry Hollendorfer with maiden claiming and claiming races, especially California breads, very, very productive. Mike Mitchell, first start off the claim, especially if the horses were claimed at Del Mar. And then Wesley Ward, California breads, it's his bread and butter. Now. As for jockeys, most of the time, they don't figure big in my handicapping. Joel Rosario, Rafael Bayarano, and Tyler Bays, you know, no doubt they're going to dominate the standings this year, but everyone knows that already. So, but here are some interesting angles, however, I bet very few people know about. We've already spoken about Omar Barrio and his affinity for hitting the board with AC Avila and those long sh shots. Just a sweet angle. But here's one of my all-time favorites that most people just don't know about. David Flores. He's recognized as a great gate rider. And with all the two-year-old racing at Del Mar, his services are more in demand, and his stats really improve at this meet. If you see David Flores on a first-time starter, or a second-time starter getting blinkers, walk confidently to the betting window. Now, if that charge is trained by Juan Garcia, don't walk. Run to that window and place that bet. Super, super high confidence play. 
really, really consistent returns over the years. Lastly, Brice Blanc and Alonso Quinones. Very, very competent jockeys, but they just don't get the respect they deserve. As a result, they consistently hit the board with monster payoffs, especially second, third, and fourth. As you handicap a race and you're looking at uh, contenders for super effector or trifectas and the big bombers, give the horses these guys ride a second look. Yeah, we've packed a lot of great information here. Uh, you have everything you possibly need to uh, attack the Del Mar meet from all angles and do so with confidence. Hopefully I've spared you some paint at the windows and accelerated your learning curve. Most of the information I've shared with you have come from my nose taken over this meet for the past 16 years. But I also want to shout out kudos to the boys at uh, Progressive Handicapping. I think they've got a tremendous product. They produce great stats for this meet and for others. Also, the past performances of today's racing, Digest and Brisnet, just indispensable. All of these are great sources for helping you uh, have a winning meet at Del Mar. Now, go to www.horseracingnation.com daily as we'll be covering the Del Mar meet with great plays of the day, a Del Mar blog, stakes tracker, horse profiles, and the news you need to know to win. Hey, look me up at Del Mar this summer. I'll be there. And uh, you can either that, do that or email me at mshuddy at horseracingnation.com. I would love to answer any questions you might have about the Del Mar meet. And I would also love to hear about any favorite angles you have at Del Mar that we might be able to share with our racing fans. For Horse Racing Nation, this is Mike Shuddy bidding you to go fast and win where the turf meets the surf.